Well, hello there everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Now, I have a haul video today for you guys. Now, this is going to be a sort of a different kind of haul video because uh, this is the kind of video that I come on here about once a year and do. And this is showing you my goodies that I got from the Chicago Pen Show. So most of my videos, like for those of you that are new here that may have stumbled onto this channel because it's fountain pen related stuff, um, most of the videos on my channel it consists of adult coloring stuff. Uh, you do see the once in a while kind of journaling video as well as a fountain pen related video. So um, I would say probably about 90% 90, 90 of everything is coloring and then uh, you'll see maybe uh, you know a little bit of journaling and then and then a little bit of fountain pen stuff. So um, just to kind of give you guys a little idea of what goes on on this channel in case you just sort of wander on here and have never seen any of my videos before. So um, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Sharon or Sweet Nightingale. Um, my channel name is Sweet Nightingale 1973 if you haven't figured that out already, um, but you probably have um, when you have wandered on here. So anyway, uh, I've gotten quite a few things from the Chicago Pen Show this year, like always. Uh, both my husband and I go there every year, and both of us are fountain pen collectors and users and enthusiasts and stuff, so um, we collect, you know, different things, um, like uh, he loves his Parker 51s, um, I love Schaefer's, um, I was collecting Schaefer snorkels for quite a while. So um, between, you know, he's got his own collection, I have my own collection, and both of us in our own personal collection, I have probably about 250 pens as does he. So between us, I mean, we don't have the biggest collection that, you know, that's out there, but you know, we, we're always adding to it. I mean, always, always adding to it. And um, we've been collecting fountain pens since about 2014. And we do we did pretty well for ourselves, so. Um, We've, you know, we've gotten, we've gotten quite a few and some of them are definitely collector's items because we like vintage stuff and then some of them, of course, are ones that we ink up and we use. Alright, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get on with everything. So, I'm going to just go by, uh, I'm not going to kind of do everything helter-skelter. I'm going to show you guys, uh, um... I'm going to talk about like each place that I got the, the stuff from. Um, like I'm not going to show all the pens first and then the notebooks and all that. I'm going to go by like where I got everything from if I can remember that. So first of all, let's um, go with Edison pens. And so first of all, let me go ahead and start with a pen. Now um, I got a pen sleeve to go with it. Edison pens, um, which is run by Brian and Andrea Gray. Um, Brian turns his own pens. He's got his lathe and his shop and everything that you know that he makes he he makes his pens and he'll also make uh, custom pens for you they're made of acrylic and then he will use like different filler systems and, and so forth so anyway edison they started carrying these leather goods as well so when i got the pen that i'm going to show you um it also came with a leather sleeve so um I, I was able to pick up a leather sleeve to go with it so anyway the pen first is i believe this one is called um and I'm going to show this video to Brian, <laughs> so I hope I don't screw the name up, but I believe this pen is called the Grand Huron, I think, um, is what is what he called it. Correct me if I'm wrong, Brian, but anyway, so this is like the biggest pen I think that they make, and it comes clipless. It does not, ha it does not have a clip, so it's kind of just a, you know, there's no metal parts on it at all, um, and it's got a, uh, it's got a different kind of filler system. Um, now this guy is inked up, so I'm not going to um, I'm not going to push down the the filling system. But it's got a it's got a draw filling system, and so you you would just kind of push down and then back up to fill it. I'm not going to do that because I would splatter ink everywhere. But um, it, you just take off the blind cap. Now a blind cap is this cap, you know that that is screwed onto the the back of it, and it is actually part of the pen. So um, anyway, it uh, I got this with a medium um, medium gold nib um, and so let me just go ahead and show you how this writes now let me go ahead and show you um, I'll just try to bring it up here so you guys can kind of see it a little bit hopefully it will focus okay so let me take this apart take the cap off and here is the the nib it's a two-tone kind of a two-tone nib which I think looks really really nice with this with this pen um, this pen will post, so you can put your you can put your cap onto the back of it to post your pen. You just it just means to put the cap onto the back of it like that. So 
Anyway, let me go ahead and show you how this, this writes. Um, this is inked up with Waterman Florida Blue, and which Brian recommends using inks like Waterman in, in his pens. So now just keep in mind, I'm doing this with a visual impairment, so I have to kind of get a little bit close to the paper so that I can see to write with this, but let me just kind of give you guys a little bit of a writing sample. So this is the Edison. And I think it's Huron. Correct me if I'm wrong, Brian. And it's got a medium gold two-tone nib. And so this quick brown fox. Now I don't have the best handwriting. Jumps over. Uh, and I'm just doing this kind of fast here. Lazy dog. So I'm just writing on a Rhodia um, top spiral bound notebook. So um, this pen writes really, really nice. I mean, when I got this, we did a lot of nib work on it with the Mylar paper and, and so forth. And I mean, we really just, you know, toned it to, to my liking. And it is, it is a dream, let me tell you. It is such a dream. And because this pen is pretty big, it will hold a really nice amount of ink, okay? So that is the pen that I got from Edison, okay? So like I said, they've been, they started carrying these leather goods, and so I got, um, I got a few of these, these um, pen sleeves and cases and stuff. So let me just show you what I got here. Um, here is another sleeve. Now this one is a black one. So it's pretty much the same that you're gonna, as the brown one, it's, this is just black and it's really soft inside. I mean, it is really nice, okay? So this is just a single pen holder in, in here. And then I got, uh, I got a couple others. I got another brown one, and then another brown one, and then another black one. So I got like two of each, plus the sleeve that I got with this pen too. So um, I have quite a few of these single sleeves now, which is great. And then also I got a pen roll, which is a six pen, six pen roll. Let me open it up and show it to you guys. So this one, um, I could have either gotten it in black or brown, like all of the leather goods that they carry is either black or brown. And I wanted the black one because all of my pen cases are black, except for um, some that I got from Franklin Kristoff, which are three pen cases. I've had that for quite a while. And those are brown. I think those were the only colors that came in. But this one is a black one. And so it just it just rolls up like this, and it's it's uh, it, it will hold um, six pens. Okay, so your pens will go into each of these individual things here, and they're really nice roomy slots. So you'll be able to get some pretty big pens in there, I think. And then this is just the leather piece that that uh, that holds it together. So this is my six. Six, uh, six pen case roll, and this will go very nicely like in my purse. And it's leather, so all of these things that I'm showing you right now is, is all leather. So let me put this one back in the bag, and then I'll show you the last two, whoops. And of course, I drop everything, and then my, my camera moved on me. Okay, let's adjust. Time to adjust again. All right, so there's that. Okay, so, okay, there's that. Now, um, the last things I'm gonna show you guys is also some leather goods. And again, it comes in both brown and black, and I got one of each. So these are some journal covers, okay? So this is this is um, an A5 journal cover, and it's it's leather, okay? And then if you look on the the um, the front of it, it's got the Edison logo and stuff right there. So it is tailor made for Edison. Um, they've they've contracted with a a leather maker, and then um, you know they've they carry you know they carry the the goods. So anyway. Um, when you get one of these leather journal covers, now it comes with a, um, the bookmark comes with the Rodeo notebook that this is. Uh, it comes with the Rodeo notebook um, that that when you buy one of these, um, you get uh, you get a, a Rodeo notebook. Rodeo notebook, and this one is a, a ruled one. Okay, so 
Um, you can fit like a Hobonichi in here because it, it will work for A5. You can fit a Seven Seas Writer with Tomoe River paper. Um, the Rodeo Web Notebook goes in here. Any kind of A5 notebook will um, should fit in here. And it just slides right into the, the, um, the, little, uh, the little slot right there, okay? So easy in, easy out, and it just snaps closed. Oops, put the bookmark back in it. So um, now this brown one came with an orange Rodeo notebook. Let me, I can actually show it to you guys. Actually, you know what? I have an extra one, so I'm not gonna bother taking this out yet. I'll just show you what it can come with. So um, I have an orange Rodeo ruled notebook in this brown one, okay? And it just snaps open and closed. Okay, then the next item that I got here is the black journal cover. Okay, and as you can see, it's the the strap is is um, it's pretty roomy. So if you got a thicker notebook, you'll be able to get that in there and and have it snap closed and stuff. So um, this is a black one again. It's got the Edison logo on there. Here's the back of it. Okay, so again, it snaps open, and sometimes these snaps are a little bit hard to hard at first. Um, so anyway, this one came with a black one. It's got the blackened papers, whereas the orange one had the more decorative ones. So again, I chose a lined notebook for this one. You could get, get either lined, blank, or dot, I think. And so I chose lined for this one. Um, so again, really great for a written journal. Um, you can, you can um, use this for a nice journal or you know, for taking notes or something, and you go to a meeting with this thing and, and you'll look very, very professional, you know, very chic. <laughs> so this is the black one, okay? So that's all, no, there's two more things that I got from Edison, I forgot about that. So anyway, um, I, I went ahead and purchased a couple of extra Rodeo notebooks, and so this is what the orange one looks like, and then here is what the black one looks like. Now these ones are blank, so since I got the ruled ones that went into the journal covers, um, the extra ones I asked for were the blank ones. So I would use the blank ones more like for an Omni journal or for more creative outlet kind of thing there. So that's all I got from Edison. So let me put this away and I will grab the next batch of stuff and I'll be right back. All right, so the next things that I got are from Franklin Kristoff and I got several um, journal and notebook related things. So first of all, we have, um, now, Franklin, Franklin Christoph is a company that makes all their own stuff. Like, they have paper goods, they have pens, they have cases, and they, they make everything that they sell. Okay, so this is their medium journal. And you know what? I forget the name that they call this. Like, they, they have a specific name for it, but um, I forget I forget what they, what they call it. Um, um, anyway, so this is their version of, of their medium journal or their medium journal I should say um, and it's a it's a black one and you can get this in like lined blank or graph I think it is and, and I think they make a dot grid one too so I chose the ruled paper because when I do my written journal I like lines so this is the they make their own paper um, and it's very fountain pen friendly it's very very fountain pen friendly and it uh, they, uh, um, what, what am I trying to say? They, you know, they make their own paper. It's very fountain pen friendly and it's kind of a smoother paper. It doesn't really have too much of a rough texture. It's got like a little bit of tooth, but not, not a whole heck of a lot. So they have three sizes of this journal. They have a small, a medium, and a large. And this is the medium one that, that I chose. And let me put this back in the bag. These things do come in their own little little bags here, and I like to keep them protected. So there is the medium journal. Now I also grabbed their medium notebook, and this is more of a sort of a maroon color notebook, and it's um it's just a it's just a notepad with the paper that they make. It's the same kind of paper. It's a ruled note notebook, and again I think you can get these in um, lined or blank or graph or dot grid I think so there's a lot of options that you can chose again I chose the the lines because this is what I like to write on mostly is, is ruled pages so this is their their notebook um, the pages will come off they are bound at the top and when you're done with it you can just tear it off your your notepad right there so this is their medium one now like I said they do make a small one as well 
I did not get the small items. I wanted to go back the next day and, and get the smaller ones, but we just didn't have time. So I got the medium and I got the large, which I will show you. So um, before I do that, though, um, they do have a version of, this is their own version of the Traveler's Notebook. And it comes in this really nice protective sleeve, which kind of feels like felt. It's a black sleeve. And then let me go ahead and pull out the, the, the notebook. So this is made of, of sort of a cloth kind of fabric kind of notebook. Oop, let me bring it up here. So it's got their Franklin Kristoff label up there, or logo. And so this is more of a brown kind of cloth canvas type thing um, notebook. It's not leather. Um, but anyway, it, the strap is hooked onto the spine right there. So you just pull it off like any traveler's notebook. Now it does come with one notebook in here. Um, I got three refills and I was able to put all four of them in here. So we have, um, we have a blank one and it's got the, each elastic will hold a notebook. So there's that one, which is black. And then we have a ruled one, which is the uh, maroon one kind of matches that one journal and then here is a okay so I, I think all of these that I got were lined ones I think the refills I got were lined ones so this is all lined pages you can get the refills in lined blank dot grid or graph paper or you can get an assortment which I think comes with three refills you can get I think it's lined blank and graph I think it is so this is their version of the Traveler's Notebook, and it's very, it's very roomy. Like you could, you could even get, I think, another notebook in here, which is really cool. So, um, I think maybe it goes this way. Yeah, I think it goes this way. So here's the back of it. I had it the wrong way. So there's the back of it, and then over here you have a pocket that you can, um, that you can put some stuff in if you want to. So this could be used as a really nice wallet. It's roomy enough to be able to do that. And I like to keep it in the sleeve because to me it protects it. So I'm going to slip it back in here. It's kind of just like a little bag and it's kind of a tight fit. I wish, I wish it was just a little bit roomier, but I think it would fit a little bit better if I didn't have all the notebooks in it. But it's just, um, I, I wish it was just a little bit roomier. So anyway, there is their version of the, the Traveler's Notebook, okay? So now let me go ahead and show you the large items that I got here. And I, and oh my gosh, like these are big. Like this is a, this is a big, big honking, big honking journal. This is like, this is their large journal and it's black and, um, it's, uh, it's got their, it's got their, their logo on it right there. And this is more of the size of, if you've ever heard of the Leuchtturm Master, <laughs> um, this I think is like the size of that. This is, this is big. And again, I got it in line pages. So um, this is, this, this would be more like a sort of a desk journal, I think. Um, so, you know, something to keep on your desk if you want to. Um, but it's quite large. And again, you know, they, it's just something that they made. It's their, their own paper and stuff that they make. So there is the large journal. And let me just put, oops, sorry about that. I hit the camera. Let me slip this back into its cover. So I like to keep these protected until I get ready to use them. Ah. There's that, sorry for the rustling paper. And then I also got their large notepad. So this is their large notepad and it's like the medium one, um, except the large one comes in the maroon color, whereas the smaller one comes in the black. And I think the small one is, or oops, is orange, I think. I'm knocking stuff over. So this is again, some lined paper and it's glue bound, at the, or not glue bound, but it's it's top bound. So when you're done with the pages, you can just take them out up, up at the top if you want to. So those are all of the items that I got from Franklin Kristoff. Let me go ahead and put these away and I will be back with the next batch. All right, so the next bunch of items that I'm gonna show you guys came from Anderson Pens and I got quite a few things from them. So I'm going to just go ahead and get started with those. Now, I didn't get any pens from them, but um, I did get quite a few journal related stuff and a few other things. So first of all, I'm gonna show you this because I've, I've actually got this out. Um, this is what's called Ink Zap. 
And what this does is it takes uh, fountain pen ink off of your hands and your fingers and stuff. And uh, so if you're filling your pen and if you get ink all over your fingers, this will take it off. It's it's made, I think it's mostly pumice. So you put a little bit like on your hands and you and you wet it with some water and you scrub it around your, your hands and it will, it will take it off. And this is what it looks like on the inside. It looks kind of gross, but you know, <laughs> it does, uh, it does work out pretty well. So that is some ink zap because let me tell you, I'm always in the, the need for that. So next I got one of these, uh, another one of these cases. This is a, a pen case. It's a black leather pen case. And uh, I'm, I'm going to try to not show you the pens in it because I want that to be a surprise, but it's a, it holds 24 pens and, uh, so 12 go on this side and then 12 go on the other side. And you've seen these kind of cases before because I always have my pens in there. Okay, so let me go ahead and grab the next items and I will show you that. I love the paper, paper blanks journals and they didn't have many with them this time, but I got this one. Um, this one is sort of their, their uh, full size one there, you know, their, what do they call it? Um, this is the Ultra Journal. Yeah, I couldn't remember the sizes. They have like uh, Mini and Midi and, and Ultra, I think. And so this one is the Blush Pink Paper Blanks Journal in the Ultra size. And it's one of those that's got the, um, I'm gonna put that right there. It's one of these that's got the um, hooks on the, on the side of it to open up the journal. And so the journal itself looks like this. Oops, here's the end papers and then you get some beautiful paper in here. It's um, faint lines, okay? And then you get, um, oh, there's a little a little brochure in the, in the back of it here, but you get a pocket so that you can put some papers and stuff in there. So that's the one of the paper blanks journals I got, okay? So then next I got another paper blanks journal and this one, Let's see, this one is called the Pansy and Bloom Ultra, okay? Just trying to get organized here, there we go. So this one is the Pansy and Bloom in the, in the Ultra size, and it's not quite as thick as the other one that I showed you. It's got less pages, but it's beautiful anyway. Again, you get the clasp that open it up. And so here are the end papers. You get the same kind of paper, just not as many pages as you did with the other one. And this one also has a pocket in there to put some things in. And it's got a um, little brochure in there that comes with it. Um, uh, I think it says uh, paper blanks, paper blanks change. Yeah, so I'm, I'm just gonna look at that. It seems like those came in like every one of their, uh, their journals. The next ones we have now, I think those were all the paper blanks journals that I got. Um, so the next thing is I got another Rhodia notebook. And it's a slightly smaller one than, than what we've seen. It's kind of, uh, it's got the same paper in it that we are familiar with when it comes to Rhodia. Um, this I think is an A5, but it doesn't have as many pages in it. So you'll be able to put this in one of your nice journal covers. Okay, then... The next thing I got is, um, what did I get here? Uh, this is, let me see here. Okay, I got a Tomoe River notebook and they've, they've always got the prices like on their stuff right there, but I got a Tomoe River notebook. Um, oh no, this isn't Tomoe River. Um, no, I did get some Tomo. No, I didn't get any Tomoe River paper from them this year. This is another notebook. It's sort of a Japanese one. Um, I'm not really sure what this is called, but it's got some very, very smooth paper in it. It's not Tomoe River paper, but it's really, it's really, really smooth. It's, it's like glass. It's, it feels like glass. Let me tell you. So um, this is another A5 notebook, and so you'll be able to put that into your journal cover. Um, it's the same, like these are the same size, but this has more paper than the, than this Rhodia notebook does. So again, this could be used for, um, like if you want to get creative because it's, it's blank pages and this is pretty thick and it would, to me, I think would hold fountain pen very, very beautifully. Um, it may take a little bit to dry because it is pretty smooth. Um, it's, I don't think it's going to absorb much, so it's going to 
like with any good fountain pen paper, it's gonna the ink is gonna sit on the top of the page, and you're just gonna have to wait for it to dry. So there's that notebook. Okay, and then the next kinds of notebook that I got now I, I started like they started carrying these like stiff flexible notebooks and that's what they're called a stiff flexible because like the it's kind of stiff on this side over here but this part over here is sort of flexible like let me just kind of show you that it's sort of flexible so the, the idea of this notebook is that you can put it in your bag or your purse and you're not gonna ruin your pages you know if it, if it bends a little bit so it's got a little bit of a, a give to it like on the edge and the paper in it um, I've been told that it's okay you know for fountain pens um, I don't think you would be able to use like a triple broad on this because it would probably bleed through and I can kind of tell by the way it feels it's a little thinner but it's a nice little notebook anyway and they got um, if you're into notebooks with designs you know with some nicer paper you're gonna like these because you know we have quite a few different designs on these so this is not um, an A5 notebook let me show you or actually it well it's it's a little bit skinnier than an A5 so it's it's like A5 lengthwise but it's it's skinnier let me let me compare it to this rhodia so it's it's a it's like the a5 size lengthwise but you're gonna see that it's a little skinnier um, than your regular a5 so you could stick it into a journal cover it you're you're just it might move around a little bit more but because it's got the designs on it and it is a hard bound notebook you may not want to anyway um, I mean, you can if you want to, but you may not want to because it, it does have its it it does have a pretty design on it anyway. Okay, so there's those, and I do have some more. Let me grab the next. Let me grab the next ones. I'll show that later on. Let me go ahead and just show you the notebooks now. I'm not going to open them up. These are more of the the stiff flexible notebooks, and these actually came with the plastic on them. So this is. The same thing that I showed you, only with a different color or cover. I mean, so it's the same kind of idea. It's got the same kind of paper in it. It's it's got the bendy part right there on it. It's got the strap, you know, the strap closure. Um, and so on the back, you're gonna see where it it will say. Um, I think it st says if I can find it here. Um, it will say uh, stiff flexible. Pretty much all one word, stiff flexible. So here is one with um, a different cover. Here is yet another stiff flexible. So I, I started liking like all these different covers and stuff. So I picked up quite a few of them. Okay. And then here is another, here is another stiff flexible. This one is open, but you see again, it's got the, the bendy portion on this end of it and it's got the strap to open it and it's got the same kind of paper in it. So another stiff flexible. And then um, I got another Rhodia notepad, kind of different got another Rhodia notepad. Let me put these away. I'm just kind of showing this stuff to you guys at random. And then I got this case and it's from Nock, N-O-C-K, which is made by Brad Dowdy, I think his name is. And so this will hold three pens. And then you can put another small notebook in here, like a really tiny kind of, tra uh, not a traveler's notebook, but like a really tiny, tiny, tiny little notebook to, you know, for, for making like little notes on there. And you can just throw that in your purse and your bag and it just, it just zips up and you're good to go. So that's the case from Knock. Okay. Let me grab the next items and I will be right back. I think I, I think I have some more from Anderson's. Um, let's see, I showed you the zap. There's a pen box. All right. So um, I got some pen flush. I got some pen flush. It's a really big bottle of pen flush, and that's for cleaning out your pens. Like um, you can flush them out with water, but like if it needs like a little bit of extra, you can use this. And then I got some ink. Oh, let me show you this first. Um, I did get a couple of tinier little notebooks to go into the knock case. Let me just let me just grab the knock case and show you what I mean. Okay, so let's grab this back. So um, you could put your three pens in the knock case, but you can also slip into this case like a notebook like this. This is a, this is a, I think a Apica, Apica notebook or a life notebook, something like that, but it's real small. Okay, it's got little lines on it like so, but you can slip this into the pocket of this case like that. Perfect fit, perfect, perfect fit. 
And I've also got a little smaller one here too, like if you want something really tiny, teeny weeny tiny, um, and that'll definitely fit in there. So um, I could I could actually slip both of those in there like that, and that will fit perfectly like so. Um, plenty of room in there to fit both of those. So th I'm gonna keep those into the in the uh, knock case. Okay, so I got those to go into my knock case. So anyway, um, I got some ink. Um, actually, I'll show you that ink because that came from a different place. Oh, I got another one of these. These are another small little notebook. Another small little notebook like that. Okay. I think I'm going to be running out of room. Okay. All right. So, I picked up some Robert Oster ink from Anderson Pens as well. And these are just some different colors. I'm not going to give you guys any sample or anything, any samples or anything like that. Um, this is, I think this says pine green. This is pine green. And it comes in these little bitty bottles right there. These are kind of, ex this is kind of expensive ink. Like, you know, this was like for a little bottle like this, this is like 17 bucks. And it's, I think it's a 30 milliliter bottle. So it's kind of expensive ink, this Robert Oster ink. Um, so I got some more ink from them. This is green, green diamond. So I picked up, I picked up a few greens. Um, then, let's see, I know there was more. Uh, then I picked up this, I picked up this, uh, Bondi blue. See, Bondi blue. I heard that this ink will really sheen quite a lot. Okay, what else do I have here? Um, oh, I got some cartridges and stuff. I'll show you guys in a minute. So the last Robert Oster ink I got is called um, Spearmint. And this I think is sort of a light green, greenish color. So I got four of the Robert Oster inks, and then I think that's all the ink that I may have gotten from them. Um, I got another one of these notebooks to go into the knock case. <laughs> so one of the slightly bigger ones. All right, I think that's all I got from Anderson's. Um, I did get some other stuff. Um, I'll show you the inks that I got from the Nib Smith. Actually, this ink here is one that it's kind of a special edition ink that we got. Um, this is uh, some Queasy ink, QWZ Queasy ink, and this is called Chicago Blue. And this is the one that that was made for the Chicago Pen Show. Um, I got a bottle of this, as did my husband. So um, we got uh, we got two of these. All right, I'm going to grab the other inks and I will be right back. All right, so I have um, a little bit more ink here. Now the the ink that I'm gonna show you that um, I got next is Montegrappa ink and this came from um, a seller called uh, The Nib Smith. Um, it's a, uh, his name is Dan Smith and so he goes by The Nib Smith. And so he sells pens and, and ink and, and stuff like that. So. I didn't drag everything out. I, I ended up with like with four of these, I think. And so two of them are, are put away. But one of them is a brown ink. One of them is a turquoise ink. And then uh, one of them is um, a, a, a coffee ink, I think it's called. And then I have a, I think it's, yeah, I think I grabbed a blue one. Uh, blue one and then I grabbed a um, a bottle of Sailor Gentle Blue which I, I've got put in my cabinet and I'm not going to go dig that out because um, when I filled up some pens I used those inks and I put them away and I'm not I'm not going to go and, and unlock everything to grab them but um, I'll just tell you what I've got. Okay. So those came from the Nib Smith. Okay. So that's all the ink and notebooks and stuff I got. Um, although I did get, because I got a Parker pen from a guy, um, it came with some cartridges and stuff like it came with some it came with some quink oops it came with some quink ink cartridges like Parker quink ink and some some other stuff so here's that um, we don't really use cartridges all that much but you know it was nice that it was included and then we got like some other cartridges and things in here so this this bag is like full of different ink cartridges and stuff so that you know, um, I'll just, I'll put that into my, 
where I keep all my ink. All right, so now I do have one more thing to show you guys before we actually get into the pens themselves. So I got this thing, and it's a it's a wooden box. Okay, it's a wooden box, and this uh, this guy that that had these things, he made it into a, a pen case. So. I love this thing. It's got like a really nice kind of pattern on top of it, and then it's got the little, la uh, it's not a latch, but it's a thing to put your finger on to open the box. And so you just open it up, and then um, it's got, uh, um, it'll hold eight pens, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, John also got one of these things too. It's a little different, it's a little bit smaller, and it holds six pens. So um, this is, and it's just a, he gave us a little card included with it. So um, I thought this was really nice and um, the price was right. Like I was really surprised at how um, inexpensive they were considering, you know, I think he's, he had done, you know, quite a lot of work on them. But anyway, um, we kind of like handmade items like that. So, I mean, the box itself, I don't think he made the box itself, but he, he, uh, he uh, transformed it into a, a pen box a pen case. Okay. So now let's go ahead and get on with the actual pens, okay? And so I have I have everything in this pen case except for the Edison one that I that I had showed you earlier, okay? So um, let's go ahead and get started. And I'm going to grab my Rhodia tablet so that we can do some sample writing, okay? So the first one that I got here is um, this is a Schaefer Touchdown, and this came from a a gentleman by the name of Hirsch Davis, and he always comes to the Chicago Pen Show every year and brings his um, and and brings his case of, of pens that he's going to sell. And so this, um, I'm not going to take apart the filler or anything, but it's got a kind of a draw filler kind of thing, um, and it's full of ink. So I'm not going to um, I'm not going to I'm not going to uh, take it apart. So let me just do a little bit of writing with this one again. Keep in mind, I'm doing this with the visual impairment, so it's going to uh, you know, I'm going to zoom in so that I can actually show you guys the pens kind of closer a little bit. Okay, so let me let me do this. Okay, so here is what the nib of the Schaefer Touchdown looks like. Now, this is a vintage pen. Okay, this is a vintage pen. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our notebook. Now, keep in mind, I am doing this with the visual impairment. So this is a little scratchy. You can kind of hear it. It's a little scratchy. So I think this this would be between a fine and a medium nib. And the quick brown fox jumps. My handwriting again isn't the greatest over the let me see dog okay so that's how this one writes it needs a little bit of nib work it's a little scratchy for my taste but a lot of times you're going to find that a vintage pen is scratchy okay so sometimes it just can't be helped and you just have to kind of maybe touch it up a little bit or just or just deal with it you know because vintage pens can get a little cranky okay so I'm going to put this one back in here hopefully without springing my clip Okay, so the next set that I got, and I am so glad I got this. I mean, it cost it cost us a pretty penny, but I have been looking for this pen for like ages and ages and ages and ages and ages. Well, about two years now, but it feels more like ages and ages. So this is an Omos pen, and this is the lovely, lovely, lovely Omos Arco. Okay, and. So what I got is I got I got it in the fountain pen and it also came with the roller ball. So this it was a set that it that it came with. And I got this from a gentleman named Joel, um, and he is with an um, a company called uh, the Ink Pen. And the company is like him and his sister Cheryl. They sell pens and and she repairs pens and stuff. So um, they always come every year and they you know they sell their pens and stuff and and uh, she'll sometimes teach a, re a pen repair class that kind of thing. So. Now, Omos went belly up. Uh, there's, Omos doesn't make any pens anymore because basically there is no more Omos. So this was a limited edition like way, way back when. And this is a, 
Omos, I mean, if you want an Omos pen, you are going to pay for an Omos pen because, um, you know, because they were limited edition and there's not very many of them around and the company just isn't around anymore. So, but this is an Arco, which I have been looking for for like ages and ages and ages. Ages and ages and ages being two years. <laughs> so this is what the nib looks like. And of course it's a, I think it's an 18 karat gold nib. Okay, that's what it looks like. And can you guys see that, I hope? Mm, that's what the underside looks like in the feed. So let's just do a quick little writing sample. This is an Omos Arco. This one's a little bit scratchy too, but not bad. And I would say it's got a, now he said it's got a broad, broad italic, broad italic. You have to kind of hold it in such a way because it's, it's kind of got a sweet spot and when, and when you hit the sweet spot, it really writes nice. But if you don't, it can kind of turn out scratchy. And I think that's the way many, many italic nibs are. So, and I think I filled this one up with the, uh, no, um, this is, uh, what did I put in here? Um, Irishizoku? Was it Ina Ho, I think? I think. Okay, so the quick. The quick. Brown box. Jumps over. And I'm just writing really fast. Easy dog. My handwriting, again, isn't the greatest. Now, um, because it was a set, it did come with the rollerball, as I said. So here is what the rollerball looks like, you know. So we're going to do the same. I'll show you what the rollerball does. Omos Arco. Definitely not a fountain pen. But... Um, you know, but this is a nice set to carry, like if you, um, like if you're going to carry something and you, you know, there's times where you can't use a fountain pen, like if you're trying to write on carbon paper and so this would do nicely. So this is the roller ball. And it's just, you know, just writes like a roller ball. But, um, I could have just gotten the fountain pen, but I knew that he was probably going to have a hard time selling the roller ball on its own, so I, I decided to go ahead and get the set. So that came from Joel in the ink pen. Okay. And, oh, I'm gonna have to go get my other pen case because I have a couple of other pens in there. Okay, so this one this one is a Conklin uh, Crescent Filler pen. And again, I have ink in it, so I'm not going to, um, I'm not gonna show you how that works, but it's got a, you basically you push down this thing, it, it's a crescent because as you can see on the metal part here, it kind of looks like a crescent moon. But you basically, you just kind of turn this until you get it to, until you get it to where it'll push down. Um, and that, that, um, expands the bladder so that you can get ink into it and stuff. I'm not going to do that because like I said, I got ink in it and I don't want to splatter everything anywhere. And this pen um, also came from Hirsch Davis. Okay, so here's the nib on this one. Okay, so this is a Conklin Crescent. And ooh! Now, as you can see here, vintage pens can be very temperamental so they will burp on you they will they will belch on you like that so um i mean look at that it just it kind of spilled it's it spilled a big blob of ink there but um so this has got a fine nib okay and this nib is a little scratchy too it needs a little bit of work But again, you know, vintage pens uh, can be cranky, as you have just witnessed. <laughs> so that is the Conklin Crescent Filler that I got. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four. 
Uh, next one. Now I'm really not sure what kind of a pen this is. This is something that our friend Jerry had, and I think he kind of made made. A, ooh, oh gosh, that ink did spill. Holy crapper! Okay. Uh, yeah. That isn't a good situation. I mean, look what happened to my paper. But vintage pens will do that from time to time. They will do that from time to time, so I'm just going to try to blot this up a little bit. Because otherwise it's going to be... It's going to get everywhere. happens sometimes. All right. All right, let's turn the page. <laughs> All right, so now this one, like I said, this came from our friend Jerry, and I think he kind of made a little bit of this, but, or not really made it, but but restored it or whatever. But this is, it's it's a titanium kind of pen. You know, it's made of like titanium. <laughs> and uh, let me show you how this one writes. There's the, the nib. I think I showed you guys that. There's the nib on it. So this is uh, titanium. I think maybe a little bit of nib work on this one would be nice. This is definitely a fine nib. Okay. You hear how scratchy that thing is. Yep, we're going to do some nib work on this. Lazy dog. So a couple of these pens I got is going to need some nib work. There's that one. Okay, the next one is um, one of those like uh, overlay pens. You know, with the with the black kind of hard rubber thing with the with the overlay right there. And this one also, I believe, came from Jerry. So let me show you what this one looks like. So here is what the nib looks like right there. Um, and this one, um, I think it's a plunger filling system, I think. So this is a Oh, this one I don't have inked up. Okay, this one I don't have inked up because I think Yeah, this one I never inked up. All right, so I can't really show you how it writes, but anyway, here's what this pen looks like. All right, now next I got, um, I did get a couple of Twisby pens from um, the Nibsmith, um, the same person that I got the Montegrappa inks from. So the two Twisby pens came from him. And then here is, uh, I believe this one is a classic, classic Twisby. So now we're getting into more of the modern pens here. Okay, and here is what it looks like. Oops. Is this, this doesn't post. That pen will not post. All right, so here is what the nib on this one looks like. Hopefully you guys can, oh, can you guys see that? There we go. There's what the nib on this one looks like. So this one is a Twisby Classic. And I believe I got this one in a fine nib. Okay. This one writes pretty nice. I'm just doing it really fast. Over. Dog. Pardon my handwriting, it's not the greatest, but we will make do. All right. So then I got a Twisby Eco. Now I do have another Twisby Eco in blue, but I got this one in the black because, you know, black just looks really classic and chic. <laughs> so this one, um, this one again is a modern pen. And this one I got in a, now this won't post. 
Um, this one I got in a stub nib, okay? So let me, oh, and there's ink on this. The ink leaked on this thing. All right, I have to clean it up a little bit. Go figure, okay. So, now I got this one in a 1.1 millimeter stub. Okay, well, let's turn it around so you guys can see that. So this is a Twisby. Eco. Okay, and this one is a 1.1 stub. Brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Now I write neater than this when I'm doing my journal, so but yeah, even though I don't have the best handwriting, you know, I write neater than that when I'm doing my journal. Okay, so I'm going to go grab my other pen case and bring the other two pens out that I got. And I will show you those and then that will conclude our haul. So just give me a second and I will be right back with the last two pens. All right, so the next pen I got is this Parker. And I believe this one was a limited edition that was made back in the mid 80s, I think. And I don't know the official name of it or anything, but it's kind of got this little checkerboard pattern on here. I thought it was a really pretty pen. It's a cartridge converter pen. Um, let, me, let me just show you that. Um, sometimes I don't show the filling systems because I have ink in them, which I have ink in this one, so I'm not going to twist that around, but it's a cartridge converter. So you know it's kind of a, a modern-ish pen. So this one, um, let me show you the nib on this one. Okay, and then here is the underside of it. There's the feed, whoops, there's the feed, and there's the nib. So let me show you how this one writes. So this is um, this one also came from Joel at the ink pen. So this is a Parker. And this is a medium nib, I think. Okay, so. It's cold. Brown fox. This one writes really nicely. Over the lazy dog. Okay, that one writes really nice. All right, so I think I have one more pen to show you guys and then that will conclude the haul. So the last pen I got is, uh, this one came from a guy named Steve. I forgot his last name, but um, he is the Parker guy, I think is what he's what he calls himself. So he's got um, anything Parker. So this is, uh, this is from Steve. And this one is called a Parker DNA. And this one um, I think is also, oh, this one is a, is a piston filler, I think. Um, I believe so. Yeah, this one I think is a piston, a piston filler. Um, oh no, this one actually, actually this one is a cartridge converter. So this one is sort of a, again, a sort of a modernish pen, although it's been sort of around a while. It's a limited edition, okay? And I don't have the box with me right, well, actually I do have the box, which I can show it to you, because he had to send it to me separately, because it's a huge box. But anyway, this one is called the DNA pen. Um, and you can really see it like if you have it up in the light, but it's got a helix pattern um, that kind of looks like a, a DNA pattern, like it's got the helix that is associated with what DNA looks like. Um, I'll just turn it slowly so that maybe you guys can see that. Okay, and let me show you the nib. There is what the nib looks like. And there's the feed. So. Um, let's go ahead and I'm going to turn back a page on here. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at this one. So this is a Parker, Parker DNA, and I believe this one is a, this one would be a medium nib, I believe. So, 
this one writes really nice too. Ugh, me and my handwriting. Just really quick at it. Where the lazy dog, huh? Ah! <laughs> that sucked. But as you can see, it writes really nice. It feels really nice in the hand too. And it's got kind of a different sort of texture. Like it's got, it's got a texture to it like this pen does. And it kind of feels like it's got notches kind of carved out of it a little bit. Um, that's what it feels like. But I mean, it is a really cool, very, very cool texture and really, really, really beautiful pen. So those are all of the pens that I got. Let me, let me go grab the box and I'll show you what the, the box looks like. I mean, with these limited edition pens, um, they come with nice boxes. So let me just grab that and I will be right back. All right, um, let me just lift up the camera so that we can see a little bit better. Um, or I could just zoom out just a, just a touch, right like that. All right, so here is what the um, outside of the box looks like. This is kind of a cardboard cover that, that it came in. Let me just go ahead and slip it off and we'll actually get to the, the heart of the box. <laughs> so, it's got a outer cover, so you just take off the lid, like so. And then the bottom of it just sort of comes out like that. There's a little flap there that you can just move to kind of take the box out. And what this looks like, it actually reminds me of a lacquered jewelry box. Now it's not in perfect condition because it's got a, it's got a chip right there. Um, it's got a chip right there. So it's not in perfect condition, but it, it reminds me of a lacquered jewelry box. It's got like a, in, um, not an, in not an inlay pattern. It's kind of raised, but it's got a, a diamond right there. And then, um, it just, it's lacquered and you open it up and, uh, Uh, you open it up, and then he he included. Here's what the here's where the pen would lay. So he included a note. It says, "Lift up the top, lift up the top pad, and you will find a box of quink cartridges." So underneath, like if you lift this part up here, there's your paperwork that comes with the pen. There's some cards and paperwork that comes with it. You get a cloth to polish it up with. And then here is the box of the ink cartridges if you're if you're interested in using ink cartridges, which mostly we don't because we like to fill up from our own bottles of ink. So here is what the box looks like for the DNA pen. And it just, it just um, clicks closed. So there is my haul with, with all of my goodies from the Chicago Pen Show. I got quite a few pens as well as a bit of ink and notebooks. So I am sitting really pretty. <laughs> and in the box up here just says Parker on the lid right there. So that concludes the haul with all of the goodies that I got from the Chicago Pen Show. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and hit that like button because when you do that gets this video more traffic out there and it will educate people about fountain pens, sort of. <laughs> it's not really an educational video, but it will get the awareness out there about fountain pens if you hit that like button. Um, leave a comment and tell me what you think and go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you have not done so already. If you wanna see fountain pen related stuff and journals as well as adult coloring. You guys have a great day and we will talk to you all later. Okay, bye guys.